Storytellers and performers and cultural creators of every sort can dream of the big score. Why not? Yet the reality of such fantasies is all too easy to express as the outcome of a dialectical dance in which scrappy scribes and their ilk among the circus tents and theater stages and gallery spaces and open mics and so on and so forth have basically two likely options that are polar opposites of each other. Either working class producers will take command of the protocols and perquisites of output and truly revolutionary developments will expand the creative spheres of life or smaller and smaller numbers of thespians and directors and playwrights and such and then almost always those to the manner born or who have otherwise wormed their way close to the powers that be will have even the most meager options to make a pittance, let alone a living, in the realm of their muses calling, a stark opposition that only does anyone any good if the workers who labor at art recognize that these diametrically antithetical developments will result from the choices of either the current ruling classes or yet to manifest collectives of the inspired and inventive laborers themselves.